Good afternoon everybody, it's me again Ernie with another little Blu-ray update collection that I've recently picked up. I've just got back from Benidorm in Spain where every year I go in March for my holidays and um, I've picked up seven movies, six Blu-rays and one DVD. And I also when I got back I went up to the local CEX shop in Ashton and I picked up five Blu-rays pretty cheap. So I'm just going to give you a quick look and update on what they're about and who they are and everything. I'll start off with a pile that I got from Ashton in CEX at the beginning of the week. Now I paid £12.50 for all five of these DVD Blu-ray things. So the first one is Vantage Point. Dennis Quaid, Forrest Whitaker, Sigourney Weaver, Matthew Fox. Big star cast. Only paid £1.50 for it. It's all about an assassination of a president in Spain, an American president one tour, and it's seen from the viewpoint of eight different people. So it goes back in, it keeps repeating itself, but from different angles where the people have seen the film. It's a good little thriller, and for £1.50 I'm not moaning. So that's Vantage Point. Number two, I paid th £3 for this. Jason Statham, the remake of The Mechanic which was originally done by Charles Bronson, who was the mechanic, and John Michael Vincent was in the original. This one is Ben Foster and um, Jason Statham and Donald Sutherland. And it's a quick recap. He's, he's a hitman, but he, one of his bosses, his mentors, gets killed, and he enlists the help of the mentor's son to find out who's killed him. So for three quid, it's on Lionsgate. It's not too bad. The mechanic, not bad for the price. Thirdly, absolute Stonewall 10 out of 10 classic. One of the very early films of Martin Scorsese and it's the film that really put Robert De Niro on the map. We are of course talking about Taxi Driver. Absolute brilliant film. It's slow to begin with. It's basically, he plays a taxi driver. He's got back from Vietnam. He can't get any other job, so he becomes his taxi driver. Uh, while he's doing the job, he tries helping a young prostitute who's in trouble with a pimp played by Harvey Keitel. The prostitute is Jodie Foster. She's 13 years old and she works the streets. But in between all that, while he's trying to help her get off the streets, he's, uh, he's suffering flashbacks from Vietnam and he's basically having a breakdown in his own head. And then he falls in love from a distance with Sybil Shepherd, who plays a campaign administrator who's helping a local politician. It all builds up to a crescendo. It's fantastic. The music's great. Paul Schrader wrote the screenplay. Martin Scorsese did a fantastic job in directing. And Robert De Niro is just amazing. He plays Travis Bickle. One of the famous lines is, are you talking to me? You, and he does it in the mirror. But if you've never seen Taxi Driver, it's got to be watched. It's one of the best films of the 70s. And I paid four quid for it, so it's a good price. Another one, Jerry Bruckheimer and the people who do all the Armageddon's and all them ones. Uh, they got hold of Tony Scott, Ridley Scott's famous brother, to make... Crimson Tide, Denzel Washington and Gene Hackman and George DeZunder. It's basically a drama set on board a submarine. The submarine's been issued to go and basically start World War Three. Now, is it a test or is it not a test? And the two captains, which is Denzel Washington and Gene Hackman, they basically clash. One wants to set the bombs off, the other one doesn't. And it is really tight on the edge of your seat thriller fantastic film absolutely brilliant and on blu-ray the pcm 5.1 surround soundtrack is amazing i picked that up for four quid the other month when i was in asda as well they had a big sale on and i got this for four quid it's a sequel to gi joe it's got the rock dwayne johnson uh, channon tatum and bruce willis is in this and it's gi joe retaliation it's better than the first one it's basically Loads of action, loads of blows up, shoot them up. You don't need a brain to watch it. It's good fun on a Saturday night for a few beers. Four quid brand new, still shrink wrapped. 
Right, like I said earlier on before, I went to Spain, Benidorm. I've just got back on the 14th of March. I always go into a, a supermarket, a hypermarket called Carefor. It's a huge place. It's absolutely sells everything and anything. And they have a big Blu-ray section. And they always have deals on and offers. And they also have some film sections. I've got six Blu-rays and one DVD. I'm very chuffed at this one. The DVD I picked up was €2.95, which in English money is about £1.40. Not a lot. And it was directed by Sam Raimi, written by the Coen brothers, late 80s. It came after Evil Dead 2, after the success of Evil Dead 2. The Coen brothers got together with Sam Raimi and decided to make a comedy thriller called Crime Wave, which stars Paul L. Smith, he was the big security officer in Midnight Express. Brian James and I think it's Francis McDonald. Let me have a look. Bruce Campbell's in it. Paul L. Smith, Brian James, Sherry Wilson and Edward Pressman. Now, it's a very, very rare film. In England, if you go on Amazon, you're going to pay 20 quid for it, minimum. And that's second hand on DVD. It's not been released on Blu-ray over here. I know it's out in America in Blu-ray, but... It's basically about two guys, Paul L. Smith, which is him there, and Brian James are rat catchers and rat killers. They're exterminators for the pest control. And they decide to, to branch out and they get all the local mobsters involved and say, well, if you need bodies disposing of, we'll do it for you. And it's a madcap. Think, think of the Three Stooges on acid, basically. It's mad it's crazy it's a great film great little gem it's very rare to find i'd recommend it if you get hold of it daniel orton if you get hold of it you'll love it trust me i'm pretty good on these ones that was only three euros i'm very chuffed for that right the other six films are basically you get three for the price of two they were all nine euros each so i bought six so i only paid 18 euros each so I paid 36 euros for six Blu-rays, which is about 24 quid. It's not bad, pretty good. Now the first one is a film I've never seen. I was supposed to go and see this in the early 80s on a double bill with John Carpenter's The Fog. Now my cousin Sean didn't want to see this film, so we ended up going late and we only went and watched The Fog, which was a great film. And the film we're talking about is Sean Connery in Outland, which is basically high noon the Gary Cooper's classic set in space he plays a marshal who's on this Saturn moon thing he's on this big big this big colony around there working miners and everything and the uh, these um, a drug that's on the that somebody's selling on there that gets people they enjoy themselves when they're on it and basically Somebody gets murdered over this drug and it's Sean Connery's job to try and find out what's going on. Like I said, I've only seen bits of it. I've never seen it all the way through. I never got to see it at the cinema. So I'm looking forward to checking that one out. That's Sean Connery in Highlander. Directed by Peter Hyams as well. He's a big, big director. Secondly, I picked up the remake of Total Recall with Colin Farrell. Only nine euros. Like I said, three for two. So it was... They didn't have much there to choose from, so I picked this one up. I watched it when it first came out. I wasn't that impressed with it. It was all right. I thought it was not bad. But I'm going to go back and look at it again, because the original with Arnold Schwarzenegger is a classic. This one is... It's all right. I'm going to give it a go, because it's got an extended director's cut, or not seen in the cinema. It was only €9, Euros, so I'm happy with that. And the one I picked free to go with it, when I first seen it, it was all mishmashed, and I didn't understand it. And uh, I thought, well, it's a free one, so I'm getting it free. And that's Harrison Ford in Ender's Game. It's a bit like the Divergent Mockingbird rubbish that all the kids are into. It's basically about a lad who has to go and train to be a fighter pilot in outer space. And he has to go through all the various training techniques. Harrison Ford's like the mentor, and Mr. Ben Kingsley's in it as well. He plays one of the big guys who makes all the decisions and Harrison Ford clashes with him and saying he's the one he's this and think of Last Starfighter from the 80s and it's similar so that's Ender's Game and that was free so I'm not losing out 
Right, the other three are part of a collection. They're all the same labels, so I'm going to go through them all. Right, the next one picked up. These were all again three for nine, three for eighteen euros, nine euros each. The first one is the classic 1978-79 Francis Ford Coppola film Apocalypse Now, which is, in my opinion, one of the best Vietnam War films of all time. My partner Richard doesn't like Vietnam films. His era is World War II. I love all this stuff. I grew up in the Vietnam era when I was a young kid in the 70s. When this came out, I went old enough to go and see it. And a little story is when it was shown at Cannes Film Festival, it wasn't finished. Francis Ford Coppola said, I've not finished it, but I don't don't judge what you see on the end result. And it actually won the best film at Palme d'Or for that year. And when he went back and finished it, it was an amazing film. Now he's also gone back and he's messed with it lots and lots and lots of times. And the version on here, it's got the original cinema version, but it's also got Apocalypse Now Redux where he's basically put another 50 minutes back in to the film so it's a longer film it's nearly four hours instead of three hours now i've not seen the redux version but i've heard bad reports about it i've heard it's long it doesn't need all this in it it should have just kept it as it is i will give it a go because i've not seen it and i'll come back and tell you what i think of it but for nine euros i'm getting two versions of apocalypse now with all the extras and I love the cover and the artwork. It's a great drawing. That's the Marlon Brando character. I won't say much about Apocalypse now, except for Martin Sheen has to go and find this guy who is a big captain in the army who has lost his mind, basically, up the jungle. But it's a great film. Absolutely fantastic. That's Apocalypse Now. Another Vietnam one that I bought from my friend Scott Bradley. I've seen it all lots of times. Again, I couldn't see it on the cinema. I weren't old enough. I was only a young teenager and this is Michael Cimino's classic The Deer Hunter Robert De Niro Christopher Walken George De Zunda Meryl Streep John Savage massive cast in it and it's basically about a group of Pittsburgh miners who are all been drafted up to go to Vietnam and fight a war that they don't understand and it's, it's like a big epic the first hour is where they're finishing the last shifts they're all going out for the last trip out because they call it deer hunter because they go hunting in the forest for days when they were when they have rec recreation then they have a wedding and then they have to go to vietnam and then one of the characters in it gets captured and they get put into this river river jail basically in the river is bamboo jail and they they're basically made to play russian roulette for money because the vietnamese are having games and they're playing with them all it's pretty brutal. It's a pretty strong film. It's a great, great acted movie. And it has to be watched. If you've never seen Deer Hunter, watch it. And that's a great cover again. Brilliant artwork on it. Great drawings. And finally, my last one I got from Benny Dorn. I've never seen this all the way through. I've only seen bits of it. Because one of the bits I've seen I've not liked because it's it's depressing. It's but it's true, it's real. You know, and I will eventually get down to watching it all the way through. And it's the Steven Spielberg's classic Schindler's List. Starring Ben Kingsley, Liam Neeson, Ralph Fiennes. Now the bits I've seen, they're pretty brutal. It's all shot in black and white, as everyone knows. It's all about the concentration camps in Auschwitz and everything. And about Liam Neeson owns a factory. And the way you can rescue the Jews is if he gives them jobs. That's from what I can gather. And he employs a lot of the Jewish community to save them from the gas chamber and the Germans. And he be, it's a true story. He is a hero. They all say that and everything. But it also shows what happens in the gas chambers. It also shows Ralph Fiennes plays a German officer who is basically just completely off his head. He's, he's a killer for no reason. He don't have to do it. But from what I've seen of it, my partner said it's fantastic. He loves it to bits. It's a great film. So that's Schindler's List. So I'm going to give that a go as well. I'm going to watch it all the way through. So that's my little pickups for last couple of months. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll do another one soon. And take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. And do comment if you like it. Cheers. Bye.